How you doing YouTube peeps? Today I'm just uh, <coughs> going to show you guys uh, <coughs> this mini pool pond that I made for um, I think it was right around a hundred dollars or, or under a hundred dollars and um, I just went ahead and bought this tub these like plastic drawers uh, the pump the uh, little uh, pool the sand I already had, the rocks I already had uh, the PVC I already had that uh, the filter, uh, the polyester filling I already had that uh, and that's about it but uh, to show you guys on, on the first drawer I don't have anything because I'm still uh, looking for a way to have that hose uh, straight down so the water could just you know hit uh, hit it hit uh, the, what's called the drawer straight down because right now I just kind of hit it from the side and uh, I wasn't getting uh, the water filter like I wanted, so I, I uh, put the polyester filling in the bottom with some scrubbies for the moment. Um, and on the bottom drawer, the third uh, drawer, I'm going to do uh, some lava rock. But yeah, it's just um, it's called a Ketsum pump. I'm gonna put a link in the description to where I got the pump. I, I think I got it from Amazon for like $25, and uh, it's been working pretty good doesn't make a lot of noises or anything like that and for twenty dollars twenty five dollars I can't complain but it's like it's very simple it's just the pump picking up the water uh, bringing it back up and it's uh, the water is getting dropped down into the drawers getting filtered and it's coming uh, out of the tub into the uh, to the little uh, pool and uh, that's how I, that's how I have the setup very simple uh, all these guys cost me like I said hundred dollars including the pool the filter that I made myself uh, the fittings uh, like well, not the fittings but just these two fittings uh, some silicone I also bought uh, well I think I bought it I already had it but uh, I just put some silicone in there because it was leaking a little bit uh, and I just put the silicone uh, on the outside not on the inside just on the outside but that's about it but for example uh, for example um, the filter pump was $25. Uh, the, this little pool was uh, $25. The fittings or the fitting that uh, I bought from Home Depot was $5. The hose, um, the hose was pretty expensive. It was $15. Uh, the scrubbies that I bought, I bought like four or $5 of scrubbies. Um, the tub was $15. Um, And I think that's about it. That's about it. That's all. That's all I. Uh, that's all I uh, spend the money on. And that was like I said, about ninety dollars to one hundred dollars, something like that. Um, and you know, right now I'm, I'm just uh, waiting to uh, for it to cycle. Is I only had it. Uh, had the water in there for like a week. And I'm still waiting to get a cycle. Uh, I might, I might put, you know, some, you know, small bass, you know, you know, some baby bass or some crappie, or, you know, we'll see what we put in here. But it's looking pretty good. The water was uh, pretty uh, dirty uh, in the beginning, but it's gotten, it's gotten pretty, uh, pretty clear. You know, thanks to that polyester filling, which uh, I got over here. I got this really big bag, uh, and I got it from Walmart. Uh, for I think it was five dollars and I think like I use it on all my uh, fish tanks and this lasted me probably like six months and it, it, it cleans the water and it filters your you know your water and, and it's pretty good uh, so you don't have to spend money on on the filters they're very expensive uh, but if you do get that uh, polyester filling just make sure it doesn't have no uh, additives or no uh, it has to be a hundred percent polyester filling it can have no chemicals or anything like that. But uh, that's it, guys. Uh, if you guys enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys again.